And Sally's here <laughs> with this forecast yeah. for, for tonight because so many folks are going out. It feels like a Friday night. There's so much sure stuff does. going on. Specifically, I've got the forecast for Jeldwin Field because I know a lot of people headed outdoors for the U.S. women's soccer team. You'll be sitting out there, so really curious about what it's going to be doing. Just bring an umbrella to be careful, you know, and, and a rain slicker. 45 degrees when the game kicks off at 6 o'clock this evening. And a passing shower possible. I don't think it's going to be a washout at all. In fact, I think just overcast skies by the time we get our final score. This was a, a look at the sunrise this morning. Not much of a sunrise, but you can still see Mount Hood, and then all of a sudden the rain rolled in right on cue like we said it would. And here's a live look over downtown Portland. We've got the concrete gray skies overhead, and it's chilly out there. Temperatures in the mid 40s inland, 50s out at the coast. And here's a live look from the Tolavana Inn. Big waves crashing on the shore there, gusts of 36 miles per hour at our pinpoint weather location there out at Cannon. Beach. A live look now, 3D pinpoint Doppler, mainly light showers around the metro area. Just out west, we're seeing a bit of moderate rain west of uh, Hillsboro over Forest Grove as well as Banks. But you know what? We're going to get a break from all the shower activity that we've seen this morning, and you can see that break quite well here on satellite and radar. The southern Willamette Valley drying out temporarily, but this area of low pressure is going to bring us more rain later on this evening in the form of showers, as I mentioned, and then steadier rain early tomorrow morning. So here's what you can expect as far as uh, the few hours ahead. Three o'clock. Spotty showers around, but some of us getting dry time as well. And then tonight, 5 o'clock, those are the showers I was talking about at the start of the soccer game and as you're walking into the Rose Garden for uh, Bruce Springsteen. Tomorrow morning, 1 a.m., this is the cold front pushing on shore, so it looks like a soggy drive in to work tomorrow. And then we switch over to the passing showers mode throughout the day. A wetter down to the south of us, and that snow level tomorrow about 6,500 feet or so. Today, we're up at about 7,000 feet, so traveling through the passes, not much of a concern. 39 mile an hour gust in Troutdale over the course of the last hour. We've had gusts close to 30 miles per hour in Portland and are out at PDX. Most of the wind right now is right near the gorge, and you can see that here with wind cast. Sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour near the gorge, and then later on this afternoon and evening, the winds pick up, and you can see the direction of the winds here on wind cast coming out of the south about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it looks to be a breezy evening ahead. We've got a high wind warning for the central coast tonight with gusts of 60 miles per hour plus. How about temperatures outside? As I mentioned, it's chilly 41 in downtown, 43 for East Moreland and Vancouver. It's 42 degrees in Gresham and really chilly still in the 20s for Bend. Look at what a difference it makes once you drive over the Cascades and out to the coast. Almost 60 in Tillamook, 30s for the Gorge. So what a times out at the coast. We've got that high wind warning. Rain at times for the valley as well. I think we're going to get a bit of a break the next few hours though. Patchy freezing fog east of the Cascades having a hard time warming up over there and a chance of showers, snow showers or rain showers depending on how cold it is outside of your house. 38 degrees at government camp today and that snow level 7,000 feet. Wet at times through the gorge with east winds gusting up to about 40, 50 miles per hour. Back around the metro, 46 for a high today in Portland. Temperatures not budging all that much and again a breezy afternoon and evening ahead. Temperatures in the 40s and the low 50s for some locations, uh, 45 degrees in Vancouver today. So your seven-day forecast, well, pretty much the same for the next five days. Wet at times, pretty breezy the next couple of days, and it looks like a particularly stormy day on Saturday. So uh, yeah, get all that rain gear ready. We will. <laughs> Sally, thank you. Sure.